Hi, this is Shreng Siddharth once again. Welcome to the next part of this module of Object Oriented Programming in Java. So in this video, we will learn about inheritance concept in Java. So first of all, how can we understand inheritance? So let me show you some example. So here on the left hand side, I have the dog icon and on the right hand side, I have a cat. So if I ask you to define the class of a dog, then you will simply define the class dog as its color, breed and few of its activities such as bark and eat. Now similarly in case of cat, we can have this class cat. Having the string color, age, having some activities such as meow and eat, right? Now if you compare cat and dog, then you will find one thing in common. Both are actually animals. And yes, of course, we humans are also animals. But as of now, let's compare cat and dog. So both are animals. So if they are animals, then they must have some properties in common. Such as here we have color and here as well we have color. Now in case of methods, we have eat method here and also we have eat method here. So both these dogs and cat are actually animals and have some common properties. So don't you think in your application, these two properties color and color are repeated in both the classes? Yes, of course it is repeated. So in that case, we can simply create the class of animal and represent it like class animal and here I have string color and here I have eat method. Now since I have a class animal defined in my application, so I think now I should remove the string color from here and eat method from here. And same thing applies to the cat class as well. We can simply remove string color and eat method. Now if I simply remove this variable and method, then how can I get the properties of the animal inside the dog class and also inside the cat class? So here comes the inheritance into picture. Now I will simply remove the string color and eat method. And now here I have something different. We have string breed and void bark. Now here I have some keyword class dog extends animal. So this extends keyword simply inherits the properties of animal inside the dog class, right? So this dog simply extends from the class of animal, right? And similarly, in case of cat as well, I will simply remove the string color and eat method. And now we are only left with integer age and meow method. Just because we have simply used the extend keyword to extend all the properties of the animal class into the cat class. So here we can represent it with the help of arrow that this class cat and this dog class simply gets all the properties of this animal class. So here we have basically the child and parent relationship like you inherit some properties from your father and mother or your parents. Similarly, the cat and dog are actually acting as a child class and here this animal is actually the parent class. So this inheritance of the property is actually known as the concept of inheritance in Java. And now technically this cat class and this dog class is actually known as the subclass or the child class. So here this cat and this dog can be called as subclass or the child class. And now similarly this animal class from which we are actually inheriting some properties can be called as superclass base class or parent class. So in future, if I call, if I use the term super class, base class or parent class, then always remember, I am talking about the class from which some class is actually inheriting some property, right? So this dog is actually the subclass or the child class. And this animal is actually the super class, base class or parent class. And now, Proceeding forward, there are various types of inheritance in Java, such as single inheritance, multi-level inheritance, and then hierarchical inheritance. So in case of single inheritance, we have class B that inherits the properties from the class A, such as this is the dog class and this is the animal class, right? And in case of multi-level inheritance, we have class C that extends from some other class and this class again extends from some other class, right? Like this. So indirectly, the class C is getting all the properties present inside the class B and class A. But 
this class B is actually getting all the properties just from class A. And this class A has no super class present here. If you want, you can also inherit some properties again at the next level such as class D here. And now at the end, I have the hierarchical inheritance such as we have class B or the dog class and here we have class C or the cat class. And this class B and class C together inherit from one common class of class A. So this is a dog, this is the cat and this is the animal like we saw in the previous slide in the example. Fine. And now whatever class that you see here such as class B, class C and these two classes as well are actually known as the subclass or the child class. And whatever class that you can see here class A, class B and class A are actually known as the parent class, super class or the base class. And now in the multi-level inheritance let us consider this class B. Now this class B is actually acting as a parent class for this class C. But the same class B is actually acting as a child class for this class A. Fine. So these are just relatively related to each other as a child and parent. So at the end, let us define what is actually a inheritance in Java. So inheritance is a mechanism in which one object acquires all the properties from its parent class object. As simple as that. And now, at the end, what are the advantages of inheritance in Java? Now, when we use the inheritance in Java, we actually remove all the redundant codes. So we actually reuse the code that we just saw in the cat and dog and animal example. So it simply promotes the code reusability. And at the end, we have the concept of method overriding. Now the concept of method overriding actually states that you can simply reuse the methods present in the parent class inside the child class. So I will talk about this method overriding in our upcoming videos. So as of now just don't worry about it. So in the next video I will show you the demo code of inheritance in Java. And meanwhile if you like what you saw please like the video, share the video and comment below the video. This is Shrakes from Smartherd signing off. Thank you and have a good day.